And hey, there's big buzz around San Diego State, of course, as the basketball players are getting ready for this right here, making history as part of the final four for the first time ever. Impressive. The Aztecs <laughs> yeah. fans are flocking to send the team off. CBS 8's Chris Grove live on campus right now. You've been seeing banners and posters yeah, yeah. and people getting their new gear. They're all pumped up for those buses to take off. Hopefully they come back with uh, the championship trophy. <laughs> So we were actually just saying right now, right here, we were saying we don't mind if it rains on this parade because it's the potential next parade, if you will, maybe going down 55th, maybe take a stop down Montezuma, that we will be hoping for some sunny skies there. So uh, Evan, get on that forecast there for us. But I want to bring in some fans that are truly dedicated because while we're waiting for the players to get on the bus to get to the airport to go to Houston, we got two fans right now that are going to be going to Houston. And we've got Jan and we've got Nancy. And you guys actually aren't going together, but you just happen to be going, right? Happen to be going. All right, we got a big group going, so here we go. And so I heard that you were at the Sweet 16. You were just telling the story. Yep. Uh, the yep. year Kawhi lost to UConn. That's right. What's different this year? Well, the difference is, remember, there's a lot of DNA in this team, too. So this is a whole bunch of years in the making. And so I think there's no doubt we win on Saturday night, and then we rematch with UConn. And this will be the revenge year on both those teams, Creighton and UConn. We're going to win it. And, and Nancy, it takes a lot to, to get out, to go to Houston for the Final Four and then maybe even the championship. You're going with the family, huh? We're taking the whole family. My son's a junior. He's paying for the whole trip. <laughs> we're getting student tickets, and we're excited. We can't wait. I, and what's it like just to be here in this atmosphere alone? I, I mean, it's been electric. I, it's downpour, but, you know, it's drizzling. But who cares, right? Who cares? It's electric. We love our Aztecs, and we're rooting them on. That's right. And I, I know I don't have to ask for a prediction on who's going to win, but you guys were just talking smack about FAU. Do we have any score predictions? Uh, I think we'll beat them by 12. Okay. I think it'll be around 10 to 12, yes. Okay. Well, the line is uh, two. Aztecs favored by two. So uh, for you betters at home, Take the Aztecs because uh, Nance and Jan say they're going to cover. So uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Go Aztecs. There you go. go. So like, how could I be remiss? Can we get a couple more? Can we get a couple more? <laughs> Pumped up even out there in the rain. Seriously. Yeah. Some dedication. Guys, right the there rain, is. I'm telling you, it's almost like it's not it's almost like it's not raining, to be honest no. with you. So, it's a parade. It is it's the, it's the parade. It's drizzling. The beginning right. of it. Isn't that an umbrella um, on your head? That's right. It is. I believe so. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Those are some diehards that are gonna be watching every hoop so and exciting. every step of the way, hoping they win on Saturday, 309 PM. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be the big game. Thank you, Chris.